So my fellow gigging string player friends, I may have a solution to our problem. I may have a way for us to have our cake and eat it too. In my previous YouTube video, I did a review of two carbon fiber cellos, but there was one thing that I did not talk about. The color of the cello. So the main thing stopping most people from buying a carbon fiber instrument is the color of it. We love the aspect of the carbon fiber instrument that you can play it outdoors, the seams won't open up, it won't alter the neck, it won't destroy the wood. That's all great. But the color of it is a huge deterrent. If you're playing in a large ensemble with multiple cellists or other violinists and other string players, you don't want the mismatching of the instruments. I mean, maybe you personally won't care, but I guarantee you the conductor might care and an event planner will definitely care. I actually recently did an international gig where I had to play in a string duo and I definitely did not want to fly with my cello. So I was planning on bringing the carbon fiber cello. I told this to the event planner and she did not like the fact that the instruments were mismatching. And she made it a point to bring up to make sure that both the cello and violin were gonna match. If one was gonna be carbon fiber, the other one had to be too. Because for photos, that does not look good when you have one wood and one carbon fiber. So how can we solve this problem? Well, lucky for you, I think I found the solution. So I was recently at the Fiddler shop here in South Florida, very lucky to have them. They've been super helpful in letting me try out their different carbon fiber instruments. And recently when I was there, they mentioned they had a wood finished carbon fiber instrument. Interesting, right? I don't know about you guys, but when I first heard a wood finished carbon fiber instrument, eh, I was skeptical. I mean, use your imagination for a second. When you hear wood finished carbon fiber instrument, what do you imagine? Because in my mind, I was imagining something cheap looking. I mean, painting a carbon fiber instrument to look like wood, how great can it actually look? Uh, I'm pretty sure I even rolled my eyes when they told me about this instrument. But they were pretty persistent that I should at least look at it. And I'm very glad I did. Now, have that image in your mind of what you think a wood finished carbon fiber instrument would look like. And now I'm gonna show you what it actually looks like. Are you ready? Yes, I wanted to make this reveal as dramatic as possible. Hence why it's covered up. All right, let's see what it looks like. Ta-da! So, check out this wood finished carbon fiber cello by Mezzo Forte. So as you can see, it's pretty sleek looking. You have a super smooth C bow, which makes it look a little futuristic. You have the futuristic looking F holes. What's great about this cello is that besides the wood finished color, everything else about it is the same as the regular Mezzo Forte carbon fiber cello. So if you watched my previous video on the carbon fiber cellos, you'll hear me doing playing examples and talk in good detail about that carbon fiber instrument. So it has the same sound, the same F holes, the same C bow, everything, except it has a wood finish, which I think is so cool. Because of the kinds of gigs that I do, where I do a mix of classical and non-classical, this is the kind of carbon fiber instrument that would be most helpful for my scenario. An instrument that I can play outdoors, I can travel with, not have to worry about getting it damaged, but it still looks like a wood cello. A plus special forte. I love it. So I actually have a live video of me using this instrument on a gig and not a single person on that gig knew that I was playing a non-wood instrument. I'm talking from the other musicians there, from the event planner to the people in the audience, not a single person batted their eye when they saw this. So if you're the kind of musician who wants to go on a gig, you don't want to take your wooden instrument, but you don't want to take the black industrial looking carbon fiber instrument, this is the one for you. I'll include the video so you can see it. Now 
obviously if you're a string player, you're gonna notice right off the bat that this is not a wooden instrument. But for the most part, no one else would even notice. You're gonna blend in with other string players, you won't piss off the event planners, and you won't have to worry at all about playing outdoors or traveling with your wooden instrument. Whew, what a relief. I'm so happy Mezzo Forte made this wood finished cello because it looks awesome. And again, like I mentioned in my previous YouTube video, the Mezzo Forte line of carbon fiber cellos pretty much only gets as loud as a Mezzo Forte, which I don't know if that was on purpose or why they came up with that name, but it's interesting. So on the gig I played this on, there was amplification, so there absolutely was no problem at all playing this. Although I did already do a plain example of the Mezzo Forte design line carbon fiber cellos, I'll play a little bit on this cello so you can hear for yourself. <laughs> I was recently playing Skyfall Star, so I'm going to play that for you today. It has a smooth, very nice melodic tone. You just need a little bit of amplification and you're good to go. And contrary to what I initially thought it would look like, it actually looks pretty awesome and pretty futuristic. I mean, from this crazy looking scroll to the F holes to the smooth C belt, it's a pretty cool design and I'm here for it. So if you're like me, a gigging cellist who does a little bit of classical, a little bit of non-classical, and you need an instrument that's safe to travel, safe to play outdoors, but you don't want an instrument that stands out color-wise, this is the one for you. So if you're interested, check out Mezzo Forte Design Line Cello with the wood finish. Thank you so much for watching this video. And no, I'm not trying to sell you anything. It's just I thought this was a really cool instrument and really up until recently, I didn't even know it existed. So I wanted to share that knowledge with you all. This does in fact exist and it's pretty awesome. So good luck to all the giggers out there. I hope this video was helpful and I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks guys. <laughs>